uh, their vendors and their and their customers. The other the other acquisition that is in the works is Clayton Homes. Clayton is the class of the manufactured home industry, and the acquisition came about in kind of an interesting way. Every year for the last five years, a group of about 40 finance students from the University of Tennessee in Knoxville would come up to Omaha, and they would have a lot of fun in Omaha. Uh, they'd go to the Furniture Mart, and, and then in the afternoon, they'd come to Keywood Plaza, and the 40 students or so with their professor, Al Oxer, would have a session with me. we just have a classroom session for a couple of hours, and a wonderful group of students, and generally at the end of the session, they would give me a football or a basketball. They've got a great women's basketball team at, at the University of Tennessee, and so, and we'd have a good time together. And matter of fact, a year ago when they came up, uh, Bill Gates by chance was in town, so I presented him as a substitute teacher, which is a post he's always wanted, and <laughs> students got quite a surprise. This year when they came, 40 or so students, we had a good session together, a couple of hours at Keywood Plaza, and when they got through, they gave me a book, and it was the autobiography of Jim Clayton, who started and ran Clayton Homes and built it into a huge success, and he'd written a nice inscription inside, and I mentioned to the students and the professor that the that I was an admirer of Clayton. I'd followed the manufactured home industry in other ways, not always so successfully. And uh, I'd seen what Clayton had done. And so I said, I was, uh, you know, I was look forward to reading the book, which I did. And then I uh, called Kevin Clayton, Jim Clayton's son, and, the, and Kevin is the CEO of the company. And uh, I told him how I'd enjoyed his dad's book. And I said, we still had a little money left in Omaha. And if they ever decided to do anything, uh, you know, we would be interested. And, and I uh, suggested at what price we might be interested. And a phone call or two later, a couple of phone calls, uh, we made a deal. And uh, I had not been to Knoxville. Uh, you know, I checked out a few manufactured homes, uh, suggested that my family buy a repo. Uh, <laughs> But that deal came about uh, in that manner. And uh, uh, that's the way things tend to happen at Berkshire. It, uh, you know, the phone rings or we pick up the phone in this particular case. And the manufactured home industry got into significant trouble, very significant trouble, uh, because credit terms, uh, they went, well, they went crazy on credit. Uh, four or five years ago. And when you go crazy on credit, uh, you, 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 uh, you suffer in a very big way, and that's what happened in that industry. Conseco, that some of you may have read about, ended up holding, or servicing, I should say, the $20 billion worth of manufactured home credit, and uh, they got in big trouble for that and other reasons. And uh, Oakwood, where we own some junk bonds, uh, went into bankruptcy. They're a big operation in the country. Most of the, a couple of the other biggest players in the industry are losing significant money. Uh, manufactured home, manufa uh, the companies have lost the ability to securitize the receivables they get when they sell these, uh, when they sell homes. Uh, and so the industry has been in the tank. This year, or well, this past year, there were maybe 160,000 new manufactured homes sold, but there were also about 90,000 repos came back, and, and that depresses the market enormously. And like I say, financing sources have dried up. A lot of people that lent money have left the field. So for the strong, as Clayton is, and particularly with a financial uh, backer like Berkshire, 20% or so of all the new single-family homes our manufactured homes in this country. I mean, you can, we can put you in one for about $30 a square foot, and if you compare that to a site-built home, it's, uh, it's quite a deal. I mean, I was amazed. They have, they have uh, 2,500 square foot homes, two stories. I mean, it, uh, it's changed a lot over the last 30 or 40 years, and we've got an operation that, is, that even the competitors would admit it's clearly their class of the, op, uh, class of the field, 